Hey guys, Jake Flo here, the Habitat Pro. Just a quick little lesson on what deer look for here in the winter when they're trying to survive. What we would look for if we had to hang out out here and sleep and um, try to save calories. So we've got a lot of poplar it was just logged not too long ago, and then some pines bordering the big main food source here, and then some pines on the other side. And right here where you can see that the first morning sun hammers against these shorter um, new growth evergreens are a couple of beds. So this is definitely a doe and a fawn here um, hanging out together right next to the food source. And uh, there's a couple of ridges about 80 yards behind us to our north that um, we're going to take down some of the poplar on the south side and then uh, hopefully stack up some bucks right there and create this movement that we want to get in between. Another food source here, we're in northern Minnesota. These are cut right into the pines. Great things to do for deer. And then all you have to do on the outside of them is give your does little clear spots like this. See, this is about the size of a living room. She's pawed out the uh, snow so that she can have a nice warm spot. And then what, what I would probably do is I would put, I would go right through this tree line. This is a um, tree line probably, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows wide. But it's really tight. So what I would do is I would just take my silky and go right through the middle of this. But then I would kind of duck it closer to the food plot right there as it goes that way and kind of dump it out um, into the food plot almost and connect these two pieces of cover just so I could put a stand right back there just so that they have to kind of go on the upwind side of me and then head back to the main food source that way. This looks like a great spot for it. Access from behind um, through, the, through the little drainage there and uh, you know you want to hunt near a food source if you can but this is on the food source and you can see that it's wide open and there's nothing blocking the hunters up or down in the ladder and that's uh if you can hide the up or down in the ladder usually you're well able to hide the access walking to and from but up and down the ladder you cannot ignore so the problem with this though is um i would love as you can see the buck likes to move back through here. This is all turkeys right now, but um, this is where a buck is going to run. He's not going to step out into the big wide open field to scent check the whole thing for does, run right through the open, and then go right down the nice 10 foot wide trail over there that they had brush cut. Uh, a mature buck's just not going to do that typically. So what he's going to do is he's going to be back here 20 yards off in the cover, as much cover as he can get. And then he's going to scoot through this opening, get back into cover as quickly as he can to scent check the entire field from the downwind side. So I would love to move that 10 foot redneck right there. And if that was uh, my client's property, I would do that. However, uh, that's not his property. I'm standing on the line. If that was his, we would just put it back in there. And then the trees that are in front blocking the view to the food plot, we would just cut them off at about 10 or 12 feet so that he can see over them and the buck doesn't lose his cover in front. And uh, the problem with that though is obviously it's over the property line. So what we have to do now is encourage our client to since this is a huge field and he's not gonna be harmed at all by losing a little bit of it, what we wanna do is we wanna go to his property connect that cover to that cover right there on the point of that probably actually going right through there and I can even go a little on the downwind or on the downhill side of that hump and we can bring him through here with ESG all we got to do is let this come we don't have to do anything magical here we can just let this grow up plant a few trees in here and then uh, let it do its thing and we still have our food plot out there, but then the buck can run a NASCAR lap around this food plot and scent check the whole thing. And 
then we will have our in and out um, covered because we can scoot that then back to that corner. So we can tuck it into the trees on the corner of the field. He could even bow hunt out of it and his access is hidden uh, up and down the ladder. But without that, uh, you might as well be doing jumping jacks up there on a pallet because they're gonna, they're gonna learn your movement very quickly. So this is Jake Blow Habitat Pro. Uh, like us on Facebook, give me a call, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and uh, enjoy your woods guys.